announcement soon to be made from inside this iconic venue could change the course of an artist's career. The Mercury Prize show will be broadcast live from the Apollo in Hammersmith and the odds are looking extremely good for South Tyneside's Nadine Shah. the Mercury Prize event. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to go on stage and film her. They want it to be a surprise for the viewers when it goes out at 9 o'clock on BBC4. One song, one chance. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Tell me, how are you feeling? Well, it's all very real now, which is... I mean, it's exciting. I've had anxiety about it and been so nervous. What was the rehearsal like? During the sound check, I was just looking around, everyone's smiling. We're just having a, a really good time. Her new album, Holiday Destination, is on the short list of 12, up for Album of the Year. The album's predominantly about a rise in nationalism coupled with a decline in empathy, which is like a recipe for disaster. I wanted to speak to a lot of people about this subject, and so now we have a bigger audience which is going to be listening to what we're saying. So that's for me, is the, the best thing about this. Do you think your northeasternness also impacts on your music? Well, we have a song called The Jolly Sailor, which is about my local pub in Whitburn. So it definitely impacted on that song. In 26 years, only three female solo artists have won the Mercury Prize, the most recent being PJ Harvey, but that was seven years ago. So is the time right for Nadine in 2018? I think Nadine has really strong chances of winning. I mean, it's all speculative, but I reckon it'll either be her or Sons of Kemet. I think both of them would be really worthy winners. With Nadine, it would be so powerful to see a young woman from the Northeast, a young British Pakistani Muslim woman with an album about, you know, the horrifying reality of British xenophobia winning that prize would be so significant. I love the album as well, and I love that you, she, you can really hear her accent in her singing. Your son feed your daughter. How are you gonna sleep tonight? Did your dad put a bet on you? <laughs> no, my dad didn't put a bet on me, but I think he's gonna be kicking himself now that it's three to one and not ten to one. It's his fault. It's his fault. Do his proud as he is. Sharon Saga, BBC Look North, Hammersmith, London. How are you gonna sleep tonight?